Grayska Gabriel is the Asia Regional Director at the International Fund for Animal Welfare, and she says world leaders are beginning to realize that wildlife poaching is a serious problem. It's very encouraging that the world finally is uh, building up this political will to address wildlife crime because for many, many years, for a long time, wildlife crime has not gotten the priority um, in, uh, in any uh, government. China has done a lot in recent years to uh, change consumption habits and to uh, reduce the demand for illegal wildlife products. How do, would you say uh, China is doing so far? We know it's also been working with Africa on banning ivory. Any progress there? Um, it's great progress. I would have to say that China's ivory trade ban that started this January 2018 has been the game changer for saving uh, world's uh, elephant populations, particularly uh, elephant populations in Africa. Because of the demand for their ivory, elephants have, have been just hammered. At the height of the, the killing, around 2010, 2011, 33,000 elephants are killed on, on a, a yearly basis. And that, that's just not sustainable for elephants. So China, after China banned ivory trade, we have seen prices, ivory price has dropped along the entire trade chain from Africa to Asia. And, and it's significant because price drop reduces the incentive for poaching, reduces the, the incentive for trafficking, and also just making ivory trade very unprofitable. And Grace, globally, what more can be done to reduce demand? And is enforcement and policing still a challenge as different countries have different laws and restrictions? Yes, it, it is. Um, one country banning ivory trade is definitely not enough. We, we have seen when China bans ivory trade, the demand is shifting to other countries and other markets where legal ivory can still be bought. We know about elephants, we just talked about that, but are there any other vulnerable populations of animals or regions that aren't getting enough attention that we should know about? Uh, we all have heard in recent years the, the poaching of jaguars for the trade of their parts um, in Asian markets. And quite often uh, species you know, jaguars is, is a charismatic species, but there are also species that are less charismatic and they are totally forgotten and, and their trade uh, could completely wipe out their populations before we even realize it. Another species that I really want to put a, a pitch in is pangolins. Um, pangolin is an is a anteater and it's a, it's the world's most traded mammal. And pangolin species, all eight subspecies, are now prohibited from international trade. Yet the demand for their parts in Asia is threatening not only pangolins in, in Asia, it is threatening pangolin species in Africa.